Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again for yet another Ghostbusters video. Kinda, sorta. I want to point out before we get started that these are in no way, shape, or form associated with Ghostbusters, Columbia Pictures, Ghost Core, anything like that. These are 100% fan-made, 3.75-inch, Ghostbuster-adjacent figures, which are pretty darn cool. Now, these are designed and sculpted by TCU Toys and our Toy Chili. If you're interested, I will put all their information down below, along with how to go ahead and pre-order these, which they are accepting pre-orders. Now, these will be a very limited run of figures, four figures in total, with, if you were to grab one of their packages might include a secret fifth figure that they've not revealed just yet. But they have had Peter Venkman go up for pre-order, and right now you can get Winston Zeddemore. Again, these are all 3.75 inch. They're resin, 3D printed, and hand painted and finished. So think of it this way. It's not this massive company making it. It's a guy in a basement putting these together. That's not too shabby at all. They will all come on retro carded inspired packaging. Again, five points of magnetic articulation. I'll show you all that craziness in just a few. And each one will come with a proton pack, the Neutrona one, and then a character specific accessory, which hey, ain't too shabby at all. Very excited. Keep in mind, my set is a very early prototype sample, hence the colors. But in either case, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spooktacular cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new TCU Toys and Art Toy Chili, the 3.75 inch retro inspired Ghostbusters. And while I got all you ghost breakers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like these cool fan-made 3.75 inch Ghostbusters. I gotta say, when these showed up at the door, I immediately tore them out of the packaging and uh, I, I love these. These are insane to me that they've never done these. No company's ever tackled these, but dang, are they a lot of fun. We'll go ahead and look at Ray's stance. Now, Ray comes with his ecto goggles. It's a simple green colored piece, has a nice sculpt to it. Gummy enough to display over his head. Nothing's going to snap. Nothing's going to break. The proton pack along with the Neutrona wand. Again, keep in mind, these are early prototype samples. But for the most part, what you see will be what you're getting, if not a little bit rough right here, just to kind of get these out the door and show them off properly. But I got to say, I love the magnets on everything here and how it sort of clips on to the proton pack for the Neutrona wand. That's awesome, and it's on there. Like, these are really strong magnets, so that is pretty cool, along with the cord, which a lot of Ghostbuster figures never seem to really get. I can happily tell you they've nailed it in the sense of the cord and the Neutrona wand, which, again, has a nice sculpted detail to it. Brings forth every aspect of the Ghostbusters that you would like in this smaller fashion. Ray Stance himself, very much looking like Dan Aykroyd in that retro style, so I totally dig that. Likewise with Egon Spangler, Harold Ramis. You got the glasses, the big old pompadour. You got Ernie Hudson as Winston Zeddemore. The only critique I could really give is that the face looks a little bit squished. If the head could be a little bit larger, I think it would fit the body a bit better, along with Peter Venkman, the one and only Bill Murray. I think that his likeness is spot on as well. And you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Just the head size, just a little bit bigger, I think would really enhance Winston Zeddemore's sculpt. But what's really cool about these figures is that they have that retro feel. All the sculpted details there, they're a little bit Kenner, 5 POA. I really do wish that they had peg holes on the bottom of their feet. They might be there for the final version, just FYI. There's a magnet that attaches for the proton pack. As you can clearly see, just simply goes right in there, a la Kenner, very real Ghostbusters. Totally dig that, and it stays in there very nicely. Now, in terms of the rest of the body articulation, the head will pop right off. Whoa, check that out, right? It's got magnets. And I'll admit that totally threw me for a loop when I was first checking these out. They are powerfully strong magnets and it just really enhances all that articulation. It feels like they're joints, but they're a bunch of magnets. The legs, the arms, everything comes apart, but nothing falls apart, 
which is really nice to say. I actually really like this. It's something different. And just to kind of show you how strong the magnets are and kind of piecing them all out, if you grab the torso and then slowly start to move it towards each piece, and yeah, with not even having to use my extra hand, everything will reassemble itself easy peasy. So I totally dig that. I love how the head just flies right on there. You can even throw limbs, right? Get it stuck just like that. Throw it on there. Very strong magnets, very happy with the articulation in general. And again, I love how he just holds the Neutrona wand. Just like that, you go ahead and pop the ecto goggles on there, which fit nicely. You can put it over his eyes. You can kind of put them a little bit higher up if you want to put them on the brow. So then Ray is all equipped up. Likewise with Winston Zedmore, who comes with the ghost trap. Again, very nice sculpt on that. Nice details. No paint, just simple gray plastic. But the little hands right there on each of the Ghostbusters can hold each of the different accessories. So that's nice. So you can interswap at your leisure. You also get the Zenner cards, which I totally did not know that's what they were called. On the final version, though, they will be painted. So they'll have the little black wavy lines painted in. Now, Peter's hands, for the most part, can hold them. They're just a little bit loose. I will say that along with Egon Spangler and his PKE meter. That's my favorite one right there. I absolutely love that. To have Egon hold the PKE meter in this 3.75 inch scale, that's totally awesome. And with the big old magnetic head right there, you can have him looking at the PKE meter. So everything works. I'm happy to say that there really aren't any flaws with these figures. And that's really cool to see. They did an excellent job with these figures. I absolutely love them. And all the bodies are largely the same, except for Peter's in the legs, who has the untucked pants. And that's a nice little wink and a nod to all the Ghostbusters because Peter is the only one that did that. Now, just to kind of show you the scale overall, again, these being 3.75 inch up against the Kenner, the real Ghostbusters, and the Diamond Select real Ghostbusters. So yes, they are very much on that teeny tiny end of the action figure spectrum because then you get to see they're lining up perfectly with Star Wars 3.75 inch Power of the Force 2, yada yada. So you could probably have Egon riding a Bantha if you want, but in the meantime, he could be throwing around the Inquisitor's dual bladed lightsaber. A lot of fun can be had, a lot of pictures, I'm sure, as well. Can a real Ghostbuster Ghosts? These definitely do work. Now, keep in mind the Kenner Real Ghostbusters be in line with the five inch sort of scale, but having larger ghosts with these 3.75 inch figures, well, that ain't too shabby at all. Traps out. Now, undoubtedly, if you have been a Ghostbuster fan this long, you surely have some sort of Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in your collection. And if you've been collecting any of the Halloween doorstoppers over the last couple of years, he will go nicely with these figures, that's for sure. Now, with, let's say, Extreme Ghostbusters, depending on how that scale really works in general, right? Trend Masters, I'm looking at you. They will work for the most part, including some of the elements from the Kenner Real Ghostbusters Firehouse. That is awesome to see. Now, the Kenner Real Ghostbusters Firehouse will totally work with these figures. They're going to be a little bit small in some aspects, being that, again... The five inch scale mixed with the firehouse, yada, yada. But for those of you that have all these old toys, you want to get these 3.75 inch Ghostbuster figures. Uh, yeah, they will totally work for the most part. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be saying, well, is there an Ecto-1 that will work for these? And I'm happy to say, at long last, for as long as it's been sitting on my shelf now, the Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto-1, for the most part, will work with these figures. Just in terms of displaying, I think it looks phenomenal. Yes, this Ecto-1 is a little bit beat up. We all know that. But it totally does work. You can actually get these figures into the car, and they totally work. Now, you can totally have Ray Stance sitting in the gunner seat. That works. I totally dig that. And if you want a trolley all the way to the back, you can have Egon Spangler pulling out all sorts of gadgets and gizmos, including storing of the proton packs and the ghost trap on wheels that we saw in Afterlife. Sky's the limit, really, in terms of what you want to do if you want to display this Afterlife Ecto-1 with these figures. But in all honesty, yeah, that is probably your best bet thus far. 
unless someone makes one a little bit more in scale. Now, I just want to clear something up. While you can get Peter in the passenger seat, the steering wheel is still too incredibly low. So that presents a problem. It's always presented a problem, even for these 3.75 inch figures. Although you can get Winston in the driver's seat, right? You could totally make that work. Well, at least half of him. You're gonna have to pop the legs off. The legs will not go around the width of the steering wheel. Once you close the door though, and you see them inside the Ecto, no one is going to be the wiser. So that totally works in that sense, but we'll know. We'll all know that he doesn't have legs. Likewise in the back, while you can get him seated in the gunner seat while it's out, inside is gonna be a completely different case. There's a lot of different machinery going on back there. Now, just before we conclude, we have a very important Ghostbuster test that always needs to be conducted with any new Ghostbuster action figures. So we're going to head to the Sedgwick Hotel up to the 12th floor, where we've been hearing rumors of a floating green spud and uh, Slimer. Take it away. And Peter, you're getting slimed. So there you have it. Passes the slime test, of course. No problems whatsoever. It's just normal slime, ectoplasm, whatever you want to call it, gross and disgusting, but he cleaned up fine, no damage to the figure, no damage to any of the magnets, so if you want to get these figures, and you do want to slime them, I'm sure Slimer will definitely assist, but yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. So, that will wrap it up for my quick early look at the brand new TCU Toys and Art Toys Chili, the 3.75 inch retro inspired Ghostbusters, or Ghost breakers, whatever you want to call them. I think they nailed it. I love the magnetic articulation. The sculpts are great. Now, again, these will all be fully painted in the final versions, but these are early samples. Things may change in the painting as they keep going, but if you want to go ahead and grab them, they are available for pre-order now. Again, all the information will be down in the description below. Thank you again to TCU Toys and Art Toys Chili for sending these over. Had an absolute blast checking these out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ghost Breakers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I'm just ecstatic that after all this time, we finally have Ghostbuster toys that can fit in that dang old Afterlife Ecto-1. Hallelujah! When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>